My name is Jim Henson, and I think Fraggle Rock is one of the happiest shows that I've ever been a part of. We always wanted to do a series in which kids could see our world in a more positive light. In order to do this, we decided we needed to create a whole new world. Now, the world of Fraggle Rock is divided into three major kinds of creatures. The first of these, of course, are the Fraggles. There are a lot of things Fraggles like to do. They like to explore, to swim, to have races, and they even work for 30 minutes a week. But mostly what Fraggles like to do is dance and sing. Pass it on! When it's nice and bright and it brings delight, let your heart choose right. Gotta pass it on! When it rolls real good, like a rolly should, then it's understood. Gonna pass it on! Away. Love will come again to stay And what you give is what you gain When you pass it on When I give a gift to you I know you're gonna give it too That's why giving's what we do As we pass it on So this is another one of the species of Fraggle Rock. This is called a doozer. Now if Fraggles live to play, doozers live to work. Doozers stand about knee high to a Fraggle. They're a hardworking little folk. The greatest joy in a doozer's life is to get up in the morning, put his hard hat on, and take his place in the doozer work crew. Doozers mine radishes, which they grind up and form into a building material called doozer sticks. With doozer sticks, they build intricate crystalline structures all over Fraggle Rock. Beautiful, intricate structures which the Fraggles eat. Mm. Mm, what are those little guys putting in these things anyway? I don't know, but I wish I had the recipe. <laughs> I dream a dream and make it true. That's what doozers like to do. And building is the doozer way to go. Two, three, four. Cause every day the world is new. There's dreams to pay attention to. And building is the surest way we know. Two, three, four. Set your shoulder. Move that boulder up. Two, three, four. Up. Two, three, four. Make our dreams work. Towering over the Fraggles are the third major species of Fraggle Rock, known as the Gorgs. Now, the Gorgs are sort of giants. They think of themselves as the rulers of the universe, and they live in a world up above Fraggle Rock. There's Pa, Ma, and Junior Gorg. Have you seen my favorite crown? Uh-oh. Uh, oh, yeah. I, 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 here it is, Daddy, sir. <laughs> oh. yeah. The crown your great 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 grandpa entrusted to me. Oh. Junior, how could you? Well, it was easy, actually. You, you just put it down, and then you sit on it, and kablam! One nice flat crown! The entrance into Fraggle Rock from our world is through a wall in the workshop of a kindly inventor named Doc, 
played by Jerry Parks. Imagine a grown-up woman like Ms. R. that being afraid of spiders. It was only about this big. The way she was talking about it, you thought it was this big. Poor little spider. Got Doc has never back. noticed the funny creatures that peer out of a hole in the wall. Do His dog, Sprocket, has, though. Oh, Sprocky! Will you stop? Barking at that hole in the wall. Mm, you hairy creature is sure in a nasty mood today. He could eat a fraggle in two bites. Oh, that hairy creature isn't so scary. Oh, stay back, Red. Come on, he's way over on the other side of the. <laughs> oh, how do you do it, Gobo? Oh, gee, I don't know, Mookie. I've never given it much thought. I just do it. The Fraggles find their glimpse of our world so strange and frightening that they refer to it as outer space. Only brave Gobo will venture into outer space to retrieve postcards from his uncle, traveling Matt Fraggle. Or the nearest half the distance from the nearest corner of the door. Oh, Sprocket, what are you doing? You think I should just put a hole down there to be done with it, don't you? But the people at Mr. Doggy Door are experts. We don't have to think. Years ago, after Gobo's Uncle Matt had finished exploring every tunnel in Fraggle Rock, he left on a mission of exploration into our world. Think of me as traveling Matt. And now, on to meet with destiny. But Uncle Matt... Surfacing from the underground tunnels of Fraggle Rock into what he calls the world of the silly creatures, Matt records his observations, which are sent back to Fraggle Rock on postcards. The other day, I saw something so strange, I just had to write to you about it. It all started when I discovered an enormous fraggle pond. As you can imagine, I felt very, very comfortable being around water again. Hi, isn't the fraggle pond lovely today? Ah! I saw many creatures who make their homes around this pond, but the strangest inhabitants of this region are the hole-sewing creatures. Apparently, holes are very powerful in this world. So powerful, in fact, that these creatures devote their lives to ridding the world of holes. First, they sew them together, and then they load the captive holes into boats, take them out into the middle of the Fraggle Pond, and dump them in. I'm not sure why a simple hole is so dangerous. But I think holes are best avoided, don't you? I'll write again soon. Love, your Uncle Traveling Matt. Oh, you couldn't make up anything that weird. You want to get ahead and get a load of what I'm telling you. Don't you listen to the lies that the world keeps selling you. I don't hang around with all of them fools. Come and get a tender at the Golden Rules. And if you got what it takes to grow, you better take what you got and go. And if you got what it takes, then take what you got and get going. I get going, get going. Yeah. Jerry Nelson plays Gobo Fraggle. Jerry's a very versatile performer. He's worked with the Muppets since the mid-1960s. Perhaps it's natural then that Jerry plays Gobo, the leader of our troop of Fraggles. I was just mapping this neat new cave when this thing fell right from the sky. Wow! And since it's an ancient Fraggle tradition to share neat new things, uh -huh. I'm giving this to you. <gasps> Oh, Gobo, what? Thanks, Gobo. <laughs> One of the great things about Jerry is his voice. He has remarkable control, and his voice has sort of a cutting edge that records very well. A fella started coming with a rat tat tat. A fella told me, Sonny boy, you can't beat that. But whoa, 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 whoa I knew I was good. And oh, whoa, 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 I showed him I could. And every dream you had has gone from good to bad. Get a move on. Jerry also plays Marjorie, the all-knowing trash heap. Get the losers blues. Get a move on. Whoa! Well, when you try all day, you try all night. Try until you drop and still it don't come right. If you're gonna grow, you know you gotta go with the flow. Jerry Nelson is also the manipulator and voice of Poggorg. Keep that a first rent. 
Back me up, Junior. A son! A son! A dummy for a son! It's bad enough, you huff and puff, to make a kingdom run. Oh, why should I be forced to satisfy a witless wonder dunder blunder dummy of a son? is one of the most important parts of Fraggle Rock. The music for Fraggle Rock spans from calypso to country, from rhythm and blues to rock to reggae and everything in between. Well, now listen to me, Fraggles, with your Fraggle Mouth the Wagon. You can chew a doozer tower till you blue. Yeah, blue. But there's a mighty day coming when the food will hit your tummy, and you'll know that what I'm telling you is true. It's true. So if you want to get a hold of something extra good as gold, you got to stop and give a thought to what you do. What you do? Never eat another tower until I tell you what it's doing to you. What's <laughs> Looking for company that'll only make you blue. Everyone seems to be looking for somebody. You got yourself, yourself has you. Rev, talking really rev, I mean rev. Not just kidding, rev, I said rev. Or just really rev, but rev. Certified really rev, or oh, rev. From the shaking at my weight I'll be here and making music like a live wine So, the sound of a hum and a rumble-bug's drum Is a bumpity rum-tum-tum And there's some that are glum when they come to the drum Of a rumble-bug's rum-tum-tum But it's dumb, so be glum or be mum or be numb With a fit of your cranium Cause you strum on your thumb or your bum or your tongue To the drum of a rumble-bug's drum Our music is created by the talented team of composer Philip Balsam and lyricist Dennis Lee. Here they've been asked to write the traditional Gorg anniversary song. Love light the sea, these are the gifts that I give to thee, gifts from the dear heart of me. Now the performers, Jerry Nelson and Cheryl Wagner, who plays Ma Gorg, begin to rehearse the song. Musical director Don Gillis coaches the actors and arranges the song for the musicians. Come to my heart, we'll never part. Now is the time for true loving to start. Laughter and loving alive in our hearts. These are the gifts that I give to thee. Gifts from the dear heart of me. After Don Gillis has supervised the recording of the music, the performers lay down the vocals for the song. Courage is keen as a bulldog. Bow wow! Hand to the plow. Crown on my brow. These are the gifts that I give to thou. Gifts that I give to thou now. Come to my heart. We'll never part. Now is the time for true loving to start. Laughter and loving alive in our hearts. These are the gifts that I give to thee. Gifts from the dear heart of me. The Gorgs of Fraggle Rock are a remarkable combination of puppetry, mime, and technological wizardry. 
They represent the state of the art in all those fields and are among the most sophisticated puppets we've ever created. We needed giant characters who had complete freedom of movement and at the same time expressive faces. And we needed to find a way to allow two performers to control the same puppet. The three giant costumes are worn by performers who are skilled in dance and body movement. The costume will permit them to make the oversized, almost slapstick movements required of the characters. Now, when you're wearing one of these Gorg heads, it's very difficult for the performer inside to see out. So we've devised something we call Gorg vision. We have a little tiny television camera that's located here, looking out of the Gorg's eye. And that transmits to a picture that goes down to a monitor that's mounted right in front of the performer's eyeball. Not only does this permit him to see, but it raises his sight line to Gorg's eye height. When he looks at something, the character's eyes also seem to look at it. Now suited up, the performer inside will create half of the Gorg's performance, the movement of the arms, legs, and body. The other half of the performance is created by the puppeteers, while they operate a specially designed radio remote control, which controls the eyes and mouth of the Gorg's. Now that you know the secrets of the Gorg's, Watch as six performers bring our characters to life. Uh, uh, Junior! Uh, yeah, yeah, pa? Uh, your mother and I are going to frolic in the creek. Cooling the ankles cools the mind. <laughs> oh, well, 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 my ankles could use some cooling, too. Uh, uh, come along. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, not until you finish watering the garden. Oh, uh, pa, I want to frolic, too. Oh, now, don't start with the oh, paw. Uh, that's our food you're looking after. Now, keep at it. <laughs> well, I guess somebody's got to keep the garden green. Might as well be me. <laughs> Going from our largest characters to the smallest, here are the tiny doozers at home in their doozer dome. Are those who are about to receive their helmets present? We are. We are. We are. Are the witnesses present? We are. We are. Working all day long Will you follow Doozer ways Building with a song Do you know the Doozer lore Love it as your own Do you dream of Doozer chores Sleeping in your home Yes we do, yes we do Yes we really, really do Yes we do, yes we do Yes we really do Can you dig and fill a trench Yes I really could Can you monkey with a wrench Yes I really could Can you dream of Doozer tower Yes I really can Can you call on Doozer Fazakas is the person we've always turned to at Muppets when we needed to make the impossible possible. A mechanical genius, Foz has created hundreds of special puppet effects. Bravo! We got it made, boys. Well, one of the difficulties or challenges that we uh, got at the beginning of the producing the show was how to operate little tiny figures as well as very large ones. The initial solution was purely mechanical as you can see, and uh, this uh, was hand-operated. Now, the difficulties that are presented are that its the creature is so tiny, it's very hard for a person who is so huge, relatively, to, uh, to hold it still even. And uh, furthermore, your, your mobility is reduced to a very narrow spectrum. However, we, our next uh, uh, solution was to control the whole thing with radios remotely. And so that we also simultaneously adjusted the scale by making the control fit the size of the person and the, the puppet, of course, uh, is operated with machinery, which is of its own scale. 
Yeah, well, here's an example of how kind of mobility we get with a system of this kind. Not only manipulate the figure, which I'm doing, but to run the vehicles, which Tom is doing over here. Of course, there's no limit to the, uh, only your imagination limits, what uh, the ways you can move these creatures about using this system. Bye-bye. Because I'm not like they say. I just want to find my own way. I'm going the way I've got to go. So show me a way to go and I'll go free. I hope you'll see that I'm going the way I've got to go. Foz's remote control devices have let our puppeteers give a real feeling of life to the doozers. Watch as Cotterpin chats with her puppeteer, Kathy Mullen. Oh, that's true. Look at, the, look at the chrome on that thing, huh? Look, look at the gears and the wheels and the... the it's, just, it's just incredible. Kathy also plays Moki Fraggle. Like all Fraggles, Moki lives to have fun. But there are qualities that set her apart from the others. Moki is the artist, poet, visionary, and sometimes den mother of the Fraggle Five. Kathy joined us when we were working on the Muppet movie. Her first major puppeteering role was that of Kira in the fantasy film The Dark Crystal. Kathy succeeds in bringing a tenderness to Moki that is very special. Moki, um, not an easy character to perform. Uh, she's tall, she's large, and uh, she's about six inches higher than the other characters, which causes a lot of stress and strain to get to that height, but she's taller because she's older. And because she's a little older, she thinks a little bit more about the person's heart, the person's soul, those things, those things in life. And I, I like that about her, and I, I find that an interesting thing to explore. To make your face, I found some lace and sewed you every part. To make you feel that you were real, I gave my heart dance with me my ragtime queen before I set you free on lonely days you know the ways that you are just like me la 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 Moki's roommate is Red Fraggle. Okay, guys, move everything in. Just put it right over there in that corner. That's my side of the room. Right, right. Just drop it. I mean, don't drop it. Put it there. Right. Okay. There's a little nick in the wall. You can put that there. Great. Where's my barbells? Did somebody pick up? No, you've got them. Okay. And the paper chains. Oh, this is gonna look fantastic. Yeah, just hang out. Oh, beautiful. My my side is a little messier than than your side. Don't don't worry. I'll clean it up. Yeah. Uh. This uh, 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 red, red, uh, red, red. No, 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 no. Um, clutter is the manifestation of freedom, and oh. I want to learn that from you. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course, if you'd like to learn the essence of neatness, well, uh, then... Uh, uh, sure, I'd love to. Oh, good, we do agree. <laughs> yeah. The main thing is we're going to have a wonderful time here. If Gobo is the driver of the Fraggle Five, Tomorrow Red is the, the engine. performers on Fraggle Rock, Karen Prell is the newest to Muppets. Karen has taken and enriched the personality of Red Fraggle with wonderful energy and fun. Red is a great favorite of the little girls in our audience. But I'm on the case and I'm in the chase and I won't go back because I'm on the track. To know, to know, to know, to know. And the facts come into my senses been, but my mind is clear and I'm searching here. There's a lot I want to know. Uh, 
There's a lot I want to know. There's a lot of stuff I've got to figure out. I always enjoy seeing our characters in foreign languages. And Fraggle Rock has been seen in over 90 countries and has been dubbed into 13 languages. Wake up in the morning, get yourself to work. Fraggles never fool around, Fraggles never shirk. Your duty's always waiting, and duty must be done. There's ping pong games that must be played, and songs that must be sung. Et mon histoire, l'histoire de mon travail, mon dur la peur, ma moisson, et rabi en Back in the beginning, when we first put Fraggle Rock together, we wanted to do a show that had to do with international understanding. And a lot of the problems of the world happen because there are different kinds of people who don't understand each other. And so on Fraggle Rock, we wanted to sort of portray that and show how that happens. We also wanted to do a show that's sort of related to the culture in which the show is broadcast. And in order to accomplish that, we redid the Doc and Sprocket segments in several different countries so it would reflect that particular kind of a culture. And this is what that looks like. Why don't you go play by yourself? Woo! Depending on what country they're in, the Fraggles look out at a different Doc. In England, Doc is a lighthouse keeper. Turn to his pocket. Mail boat alongside. Here we are. Oh, bills, bills, bills. Nothing for you today, Sprocket. Hello, oh. what's this? Gobo Fraggle. Not even addressed to us. Gobo Fraggle? Who's Gobo Fraggle? Oh. I know the place for that. In France, Doc is a chef, and Sprocket is called Croquette. Electricité, facture, téléphone, facture. Impôt, facture. Une carte pour un dénommé Gobo Argel. Mm -hmm. Non, Fragel. Ça dit quelque chose, ça, croquette ooh, ooh. Et pourquoi m'envoie-t-on du courrier pour ce Gobo Fragel Eh bon, ben ça va, j'ai compris. Bon, il n'y a que le timbre qui t'intéresse. Oui. Ah, voilà. In the German version, just as in the original production, Doc is an inventor. That is a Kaufpflege für Hunde. Here, nimmst dir zu Herzen. Und da, na nu, was ist denn das? An einen Herrn Gobo Fragle oder Fragle. Nu sag mal, wie kommt denn die Post für einen Gobo Fragle hierher? Also die kann man nur so heißen weg damit. So und jetzt gehe ich noch mal raus und hol das restliche Werkzeug. Oh, he's getting ready to come back to us. He's gonna do it. The other international aspect of Fraggle Rock is traveling Matt. 
Through the help of our co-producers in other countries, Traveling Matt is able to go all around the world. Traveling Matt is played by Dave Golds. Believe it or not, before he joined the Muppets, Dave was designing computer consoles in California. Dave is quite a funny fellow. He has a very offbeat sense of humor. We first discovered this when he was doing Gonzo on the Muppet Show, but we've put his sense of humor to good use on Fraggle Rock. The principal character that Dave plays is Boober Fraggle. Boober feels there are only two things certain in this world, death and laundry. Oh, oh, excuse me, sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. Listen, everybody, I just read in my book of superstitions that it's unlucky to tug your tail. Unlucky to do this? Ah, ah, don't do that. It'll bring death and pestilence. Death and pestilence? <sighs> well, just from doing uh, this? Ah, <laughs> well, oh, sorry. Oh. oh, sorry, Red. Oh. Ah, sorry. Ah. Wendley, let me tell you about the greatest evil the world has ever known. Contagion. They'll come from the east. They'll come from the west. They're coming to get you when you wake and when you rest. They'll come from the front. They'll come from the rear. Look out! They're coming to taste you and they don't know any fear. Oh, no. You know their name is contagious. Their number's outrageous. They're wriggling and raging like worms and it wiggles and squirms. Wiggles and squirms! I'm Clothesline's broken. Well, I'll help you fix it, Boober. But how? If I don't get those socks hung up soon, they'll mildew. There's not even any place to hang anything around here. Oh, well. Uh... Unless... Hmm. Uh... Yes, Wembley, I think you could do it. What? A clothesline. You'd be perfect. Maybe a clothesline? Yes, you said you'd help. Wembley, think of it as a calling. Steve Whitmire joined Muppets during the Muppet Show days and has become one of our leading and very funniest performers. Steve plays Wembley Fraggle, a Fraggle who can never seem to quite make up his mind. I just can't decide which side of bed to get out on. There's only one side you can get out on. Yeah, the left one. And everyone always says you should get out of bed on the right side if you want to start the day right. So should I turn around and get out of bed on my right? Wembley. Oh, well, if I if I get this straightened out, then I can decide what to do next. Turn around and get out of bed. What a Wimbler you are! I believe in magic words. I believe in love. I believe in buried treasure falling from above. One more time, the world goes round. One more magic day. Now I've learned the magic sounds that speed it on its way And it goes puck, 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 squealy boink Sweet melody Puck, 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 squealy boink Neat harmony Puck, 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 squealy boink That's music
stick to me. Sprocket the dog is also performed by Steve Whitmire. And with Sprocket, Steve manages to get a performance that is both very dog-like and somehow more than human. Yeah. My mail order house. <gasps> Tomorrow's gear for today's dogs. <gasps> this is the Clark McElfrin <gasps> fully automatic dog feeder. <gasps> it's fully programmable. Dispenses dried or canned dog food one to three times a day. <gasps> three. Oh, give me your dish, Sprocket, and we'll try this. I don't know if you've noticed, but Sometimes I forget to feed you. I get absent-minded. Now, the Fraggles, the Gorgs, the Doozers, and all the characters on Fraggle Rock have a sort of a similar design look, and that's because they were all designed by Michael Frith. As head of design for the Muppets, it was Michael's task to create the first character sketches. Michael drew the five main Fraggles. He also created a complete look for the three species and the world they would live in. Our workshop had the task of turning the characters into three dimensions. Here, Tim Miller, the supervisor of the Fraggle workshop, works on one of our characters. Each puppet has a polyurethane foam interior with a fabric skin. The eyes are made of plastic balls with carefully focused pupils, which give them that Muppet look. Our workshop does a terrific job of bringing the Fraggles to life. And then we always have a lot of need for special characters, uh, if you're doing a show like Fraggle Rock, you can't just call Central Casting and if, if you want to get a toe tickler, but you can call our shop. Here you see a few of the more unusual characters our workshop has created. when we're shooting Fraggle Rock. And for instance, I'm not really walking down a tunnel right now, but I'm actually standing in a studio with an ultimate green background behind me. And the tunnel you saw was recorded on another camera some time ago. And that's just one of the kinds of tricks that we use. And here are some more. Besides putting the Fraggles into tunnels, these same ultimate tricks let us put the Fraggles into the Gorg's garden and at the same time, make them appear smaller in relationship to the gorgs. We also use miniature fraggles for this same purpose. Sometimes mechanical tricks are combined with video effects. <laughs> oh, here comes the castle! Oh, I'm flying! Oh, ho, ho, I made it! Whoopee! Uh, and even if he makes it over the chasm, there's still a twisted cave. Here, Gobo doesn't walk through the tunnel, he slip slides through it. You'll have to figure out how this was done for yourself. You said you could hear water in those rocks. A party! Yeah. It tastes like a party! Another key performer on Fraggle Rock is Richard Hunt. Richard plays a number of characters, principally Junior Gorg. Richard has practically grown up around the Muppets. He started working with us right out of high school. We're excited about some of the new challenges Richard has taken on, like directing an episode of Fraggle Rock. 
Uh, directing Fraggle Rock was the first directorial job I had had. Uh, it's a lot different than uh, just working the characters because when you work your own character, that's the only thing you have to worry about. When you direct, you have to worry about your own character and everyone else's characters as well. It wasn't as much fun, though, as working Junior Gorg, who is one of the easier characters that uh, I had ever developed because he came a lot from me. He actually also came from two friends of mine in New York, a man I worked with at Muppets named Matthew and a little boy named Robin. The voice of Junior Gorg came from Robin because when he was a little boy, he started talking like this to me. And so I realized, hey, that's a great voice. This is the way Junior talked too. Who are you? Ugh. One of these days I'll get you, Fraggles. With Fraggle Rock, we've tried to do many things. Initially, we wanted to tackle the idea of understanding and to convey that idea to kids. But then since then, we've tackled many of the other issues, values that we think are basically good things for kids to grow up with. Jerry Jewell, our head writer and creative producer, has managed to do all that and at the same time, keep the show very entertaining. Working with the writers and producer Larry Merkin, Jerry guides the spirit of Fraggle Rock. What I hope people see in the show is, is the relationships uh, on all levels. There are just, there are just a whole layers and layers of, of relationships in this show. There are the relationships of the species, the different, the Fraggles and the Doozies and the Gorgs, and the way they relate to the human world of Doc and Sprocket. That's really what the show is about. The show is about, is about trying to understand uh, other people. There they were, together at last. The Fraggles, the Doozers, the Gorgs. I can almost see a world of harmony. Music in the air. Friendship everywhere. Ties of love uniting you and me. I can almost see a world of harmony. Peace and love to share. Where did she to spare? Babies everywhere. In their underwear. Cantus is one of my favorite characters on Fraggle Rock, probably because I do him. But uh, we use Cantus to convey the idea that music is everywhere. Music grows in the rose, rock and rain and the blowing snowstorm. Everything seems to sing everywhere I go. I say one, two, play me do. Let me sound as sweet as you. Play me wide, play me long. Let me be your song. Music is just one thing that everyone has in common. We have things in common because we're all part of a global community. What we've tried to do with Fraggle Rock is to show how to look past differences and find reasons for all of us to help each other. I say one, two, play me do. Let me sound as sweet as you. Play me wide, play me long. Let me be your song. People who are different can join together and help one another in many ways. Here Wembley shows a lost bird creature the way home. You're, you're a tree creature and you need to live in a nest and, and eat seeds in a garden and, and you need to fly. Huh? That's right. Hey. Yeah, hey. and I'm going to see to it that you do. Mama? Huh? Papa? Huh? Ah! Look! Wow! Look at that baby! 
When Boober and Red are trapped by a cave-in, the other Fraggles must work together to rescue them. Try a little stronger for your friends. Rock! 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 We've broken through. Come on, give me a hand. Okay. Oh. Are they all right? Are they alive? Oh, the roof in there is caving in. Everybody, let's push this greased up monster out of here. <laughs> the Fraggles even come to Sprocket's assistance when he's trapped in the Fraggle hole. Okay, everybody, push. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Gee, if you just tell me what a friend is, maybe I know what I'm looking for. Well, a friend is someone, someone you miss when they're not there. Like, now. Do you miss someone? Mm -hmm. Moki befriends Junior Gorg and at the same time explains to him what a friend is. You mean, you mean because I took you so far away you miss him? Uh -huh. Gee, I'm sorry. Do uh, you want a jelly bean? Yes! By seeing how the various groups in the world of Fraggle Rock learn to deal with their differences, perhaps we can learn a little bit about how to deal with ours. Part of the philosophy of Fraggle Rock, I think, is contained very nicely in a quote that I once heard, and I'm not sure who said it, but it goes, we're not inheriting the world from our parents, we're borrowing it from our children. We are the children of tomorrow. Each one is different and the same. Help us to live here with our other, our brother.